Welcome back students who are taking uh, financial accounting and in this series of videos we are working on the theory for uh, chapter 12 which is financial statement analysis. In this video um, I'm going this is going to be a relatively short video and so will the others as a matter of fact most of the, the theory here is going to be very very short in time. And the reason why is because this here is about the different ratios that you've already learned and you've already learned them uh, or you've already been covered twice. Um, the first time that a lot of these ratios were covered is if you is when you had the subject math for business and finance or if you had math applications, okay, specifically the ratios and percentages chapter. Okay. Now, if you know you need a refresher. You know, on the student community under the business group on the left hand side there's a section called math for business slash applications this here is the web address that takes you directly there in there um, you know there's the theory videos which go into much much more detail on the variety of uh, ratios that are uh, that apply to financial analysis and also you know the worked out homework problems so um, first you've already had you know in a in another subject uh, all of the ratios or almost all of the ratios that you'll see in this particular chapter and second this chapter is just nothing more than a recap of everything that you've seen in previous chapters when it was covered under focus on decision making okay so from a, a learning perspective you know you've already had this inf you've already learned this information it's already been covered twice okay and in this chapter it's covering it again a third time all right um, it amazes me when students are in managerial accounting and they're being given those ratios a fourth time but yet they still get them wrong all right I, it just boggles my mind but that's me as an instructor so just be aware that if you're having trouble with anything here you can go back to the math for business and finance or math applications and watch the theory videos there look at the uh, worked out homework problems there go back to the specific chapters um, for particular ratios in the financial accounting itself here to, to uh, see how those uh, ratios are worked out the theory and actual homework problems that are done so one math for business and finance math applications to the end of each chapter focus on decision making all right so um, as an introduction um, I'm not going to spend much time here um, the steps for uh, financial analysis you can read about these different steps from the textbook I'm not going to uh, go over them but the, the steps in the framework for thinking about financial analysis is one understanding a business's model and strategy two, understand the environment in which a business operates three analyze the content of the financial statements and other information making adjustments if desired four analyze the business's operations and then five use the financial analysis to make decisions okay. um, number five is going to be closely related to this trend percentages and five key questions right. now the chapter covers vertical analysis and vertical analysis and horizontal analysis I'm going to cover that in the next video all right and that will be a very short video then I will cover in a, a separate video the trend percentages five key questions to ask um, when you're looking at those percentages to see what they mean and then of course we'll have a focus on decision making I'm not sure if I'll make a separate video for that or I'll include it with trend percentages but as you can see right now this video is only four minutes long and I don't have much more to say other than to go on to vertical analysis and horizontal analysis but I'll keep that as a separate video so you know just realize that um, everything you know in this chapter basically has already been covered twice before once when you had the subject for math um, and again when you looked at the and in the financial accounting textbook at the end of each chapter was focused on decision making so go back to those theory videos and watch those if you have to in order to see how they're all worked out because I'm not going to uh, cover I'm not gonna give the theory again on 
you know, 25 different ratios in this uh, particular uh, subject, uh, particular chapter. Um, I'm just going to defer to what has already been covered in previous videos. All right. So with that said, um, I'll see you in the next video for vertical analysis and horizontal analysis.